Welcome back to Hollow Knight, everyone. Uh, in the last episode, I died in this uh, kind of challenge room area, uh, which is a bit of a problem because I have my fucking corpse to deal with. Who doesn't die in one hit? Oh, he doesn't die in two hits. Okay. I thought my magic attack would deal a little bit more damage. But yeah. Uh, I was gonna say I'm in a bit of a better position here. Because I got more HP. I mean more heals. Not HP. I have the same amount of HP as before. But more heals. Which I don't know if I'll have a chance to use. So many of them. I really thought that was it. Oh fuck. Heal. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Holy shit, that was more difficult than I thought it would be. Uh, these enemies. Okay. That's interesting. W what does this do? Oh shit, we get more of that junk. That's actually super good. That's actually even better than if there was like a way to make progress here. Uh, damn. Okay, well this brings up another question. And that question is... Where the fuck do we go? Which is a question that comes up quite a bit in this game. No, I mean, I have my, I have my ideas, honestly. Uh, looking at it, there seems to be more at the stack station. What is it? The king's station? It's probably... No, don't go. Go down. There seems to be more more stuff there. But we will find out. So yeah, we are back with Hollow Knight finally. Uh, how long has it been since I uploaded an episode? Actually, not that long for you, but... So how does this work? I see. That's actually really, really good. Because more heals can never hurt. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, I was going to say that since the last kind of episode of this... Is there no way out of here? Since I've been playing this game... Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, since the last time I've uploaded, let me finally get this sentence correct. I've actually kind of gotten hooked on uh, Blasphemous again. I've been replaying quite a bit of the game. Uh, it's a good game, but... Nah. I thought... I thought, but it's not. So yeah, I've been replaying Blasphemous. I'm up to... I'm in the Mother of Mothers. Oh shit, did not mean to do that. I'm in the Mother of Mothers currently. And... I gotta say, it's a very good game. Uh, I still have my core issues with it, which is the... Thing I've always kind of talked about with Blasphemous. Shit, where do we go then? I guess it's down to the ancient basin then. There's like really no other alternative here. So yeah, it's an excellent game. The setting and lore, I think, are really strong. Uh, it actually, again, sort of tackles the same concept as Dark Souls. I, w I would say it tackles even more like the concepts of like Bloodborne. Because it's basically cosmic horror in a way. Yeah, this is where I haven't been here in ages. I know there's spikes here. So yeah, it's kind of like cosmic horror-ish. But also mixed with like the weird like Inquisition type, like fundamentalist, Catholic, Christian, religious stuff. How the hell did I avoid that? So yeah, the setting is excellent, it's just, my biggest issue with it is the frustrating elements it has, especially, again, the one-hit-death 
long backtrack type stuff. I mean, I did that area with the mountain. Uh, what is it called? The Mountains of... Or Graveyard of the Peaks. That's the area's name. And that, honestly... I was about to lose my mind. So if you haven't played Blasphemous, you will have to go up a mountain with fairly strong enemies where... Okay, let me just concentrate. Where there's wind blowing. So there's wind blowing either from the left or from the right, which affects your trajectory and your ability to platform. There's enemies... And there's a shit ton of instant death pits. And when you get up to the top, they put a hella difficult enemy before the first checkpoint. Yeah, that area I was about to lose my mind. Uh, but I've gotten past that. Again, I'm in the Mother of Mothers. And the game is a lot less frustrating now. Which I'm happy about. So, I don't remember. Oh yeah, there's a tram station here. Yeah, yeah, I remember. And then I went down here, but I didn't go any further, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay, we're going here now. The ancient basin. Let's check this place out. But again, like, looking at this game, you just the movement is so much more fluid. You feel kind of slow and blasphemous. It's a lot more... Nice. A lot more Castlevania-ish, where you're kind of clunky. can just feel the weight of the kingdom above. It's a heavy thing, all right. All right. Of course. That's very cheap for a map. Palace grounds. Okay. He marked a checkpoint for us. I like the kind of grayish or what is it, sepia tones of this area. It looks good. So yeah, again, this game is just so much more fluid with the movement. I'm assuming yes, okay. It just loops around. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Oops. True servants gives. All for the kingdom. Let Helena Spilking relieve you of your burden. Drop all Geo into the fountain. Something's gonna happen here, but thanks, but no thanks, bruh. Thanks, but no thanks. Imagine it's wonderful. Imagine it's nothing. It's just a troll. I can almost imagine them doing something like this. Probably need it for some, like, item. Uh, so, I can already tell I'm gonna get hella loss here, but... I am definitely gonna visit the checkpoint first. It's priority number one. Cool. Paid for my bench, bitch. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> well, at least it put me on the other side. I forgot how you cancel this because there is a. There we go. Give me all this cash. Hell yeah. Nice. So, this does seem like the natural logical progression of where you're supposed to go. Uh, just from the fact that... Oops. Just from the fact that your uh, ability is needed. Still curious about what's on the other side. Man, this area has such a nice atmosphere to it. Oh, what the hell? And there's a lot of cash here. Imagine if I dropped all my Geo into that thing. I wouldn't have been able to get my bench. And I would have been pissed. 
<laughs> Let me tell you that I would have been pissed. Ooh, fuck. What the hell? Okay, that wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. Because there's like a sweet spot. Where it don't hit you. So this like orange shit. Uh, this is the thing that like makes... Isn't this the thing that's like corrupting? Oh shit. Why am I getting... I'm getting hit by the dumbest stuff. This is like the thing that's corrupting everything, isn't it? If I got my... If I got my Hollow Knight lore understood correctly. And these guys have a lot of HP. I am getting hit with the dumbest. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, game, I see how you're playing it. I cannot believe it. Like, this shouldn't be this difficult. Man. Okay, this is gonna be... If this is the main enemy of this area, which it looks like it is, this is gonna be a nightmare to deal with. But at least they do give a shit ton of soul. So when you kill one, you also have the ability to get a lot of HP back. Uh, yeah, I'm going off of instinct here. Don't worry. I'm assuming the more of these things we find, the better. Yeah, there definitely are like sweet spots to them. Or they can... They have difficulty hitting you. Whoa! Is that humanity sprites? Just in this game? So again, as far as I understood, this like orange shit is what's corrupting everyone. Right? And... That's about all I know. It ain't good. Because there's that weird cult with the thing that looks like a bush and they kind of like want to have this happen to them if I got it correct I feel like I'm advancing a lot which usually is a good sign lack of benches oh okay well thank you Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a look. That looks so cool. Whoops. <laughs> well, we're gonna end up there anyways. Like, it don't matter. Although, to fill out the map, I should rest. I'm gonna look at those palace grounds or whatever, because I'm interested in that. Yeah. Okay, this area isn't actually that complicated. It looked more complicated when I was in it. So we gotta go basically all the way to the other side. There's a path down here. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, we cannot go up there. So down it is. Just down and down and down. It's like going to the... Whoa, hello. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Or our pure vessel has ascended. Beyond lies only the refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter that place no longer. Okay. Interesting. That to me screams something we'll have to come back to I was gonna say it's like going to the ringed city but it's a pretty terrible joke it ain't even a joke so yeah I'm 
make sure to cancel it. How did I get that so, like, I, I didn't mean to stop there. It just kind of happened. Fitting out that beast cheery. Okay. Whoa, it's us! This is gonna be a boss fight, isn't it? Uh, this is a boss fight. That's us! Uh oh, yeah, okay. We're gonna have to fight ourselves. Broken vessel. I like how our character is not even. It is us! It's like, not even phased. Okay. So far, so good. There's gonna be minions. Whoa, okay. Bullet hell. That felt satisfying. I took damage for it. Okay. Hopefully. Fuck. Is that it? Are you serious? Maybe it's not dead. It's dead. What the hell? That was insanely easy. Like, suspiciously easy, I would say. Maybe you're meant to come here earlier. But then it's like, then again, this game isn't like level based. So it's like, I can't exactly like overpower myself. Maybe playing Blasphemous as well has honed my skills. I feel like that game, that game is more difficult than this game, for sure. Oh, this is such a Metroid thing. Jumping into the upgrade. Consume the Monarch Wings. Press X while in the... This is the double jump. I knew it. I've been saying. I have been saying since the very beginning that we are going to get a double jump. I knew it. Like, it, it was inevitable. Like, no game. Oh, I'm so happy. No game in this genre would be complete without a double jump. So we have like a lot of movement options now. Oh, 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 this is where you can fight the harder version. And this guy was kind of easy. There's no penalty. There's no penalty for doing this, like losing. You don't actually die. Okay. I didn't know this was gonna be like an area area. And that was the stupidest thing I could have done. Uh, no, don't, don't, don't. Weird. I have no idea what's going on. I thought these, like, when you hit these with the dream nail, just got a harder version of the boss fight. How, how, how can I not do this? Okay, that was a excellent, expertly done by me. We'll try that once again. That was a quality piece of platforming. Maybe we'll still have a higher, I mean, harder version of this boss. I'm so happy with this double jump. Now the amount of potential areas, okay. 
Yeah, there's there's just a bit of uh, lost skin. Okay, it's hella quick. It's hella quick. Oh man. Okay, that is more difficult. I will admit that. That is a slightly more difficult version. Okay, we are going to not attempt that because if I start attempting it, we will be here until tomorrow because, you know, I have a trouble. I have a trouble. I have trouble with letting things go, especially difficulty related things. But I'm just thinking, man, like the amount of areas that just became unlocked because of this butterfly wing, it's like making my head hurt. Like, first things first, ones that I can think of, just in this area, we can go up there. Back in the sinking city, we can go up. There's an area which I didn't know what to do with. Uh, this is, this is crazy. Yeah. Unless this just... Wait, but then how do you get to the palace grounds? Oh wait, I'm going... I'm an idiot. My sense of directions have been failing me. It's all good though. Palace grounds. So wait, the palace of this place is like... Below the city? That's pretty cool. Holy shit. Corpse in white armor. I kind of don't want to hit that. As in... I'm scared to hit it. Because I feel like it's just going to end up with me dying. The hidden station. Holy shit. Yeah, 300 geo. Is this so you can, like, attempt this boss? Which I'm assuming that thing is a boss. Yeah, it, look, it looks like it. It looks like it. Let's see what he has to say. What station is this hidden all the way at the bottom of the world? Till I heard the bell calling, I didn't even know the stagways traveled so deep. You've discovered something quite astounding, little one. No matter how old I grow, the world st still keeps surprises like this stowed away. Interesting. Which, again, the fact that they give you this, a stack station and a fucking bench indicates to me that there is something ridiculous here. Did he just parry my ass? Yeah, he did. I just got parried. Shit. Well, still... This is convenient because I can go back to the hidden station, not the hidden, the king station, and then we'll be able to explore uh, king station. That's the one we need. That was cool. This was a cool episode. I actually got shit done, which there were like these couple of episodes ago. There were like two or three episodes where I didn't get jack shit done. I swear. It feels like you can... Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe not. I was gonna say... Yeah, in that middle part, there is... Definitely somewhere we can go. It looks like it would lead to... Another dreamer. I cannot believe we have the double jump. This is like the coolest shit ever. Oh yeah, and you can like... This is what I like about this game, that you can combine all your uh, movement options. 
And you can like become very mobile. You can like do instant dashing and shit. Again, a breath of fresh air after Blasphemous, which again, now in the second playthrough, after I've gotten through the frustrating parts, I'm quite enjoying. It's just the getting there part. Okay. Hmm. I gotta stick along with the wall. I'm assuming, like, this is the next logical place you would go, right? Because, like... It almost looks like this area is, like, teaching you how to use the butterfly wings. Ouch. These guys hurt. They have a lot of HP. Oh, fuck. Shit on range as well. Motherfuck. Two. One, two. One, two. What if I charge? Oh, but no, you can't hit them. Oh, yes, you can. God damn. It wasn't easy. That wasn't easy. That's more like, I think that enemy is more of an environmental hazard than a enemy you gotta like engage often. Shit. Unlike this guy. Just unlocking everything. This game is so cool. I cannot like stop saying it. Oh fuck you. Another one. You guys remember when DJ Khaled was a meme? I was reminded of uh, from other one, another one, as he always used to say. Yeah, DJ Khaled kind of died down because uh, people realize his music is a bit shit, isn't it? He's not even a musician, though, really. Like he's he doesn't actually produce any of the songs. Uh, he's just like a dude that. Pulls together people. Okay. He just like basically pulls together people. Uh, and makes them create the songs. And then just slaps his name on it. He's like an assembler of music. Which is weird. Because it's like what even is he? Like technically a producer. But you know. kind of Producer implies you produce the music. But he don't do any of that shit. And then, of course, he all his songs are successful because he puts, like, a bunch of people together, you know. And it's just the name recognition. Where the hell is this even leading? Why am I still doing this? Uh, one hundred percent a boss room. That is one hundred percent a boss. There's one of those worm thingies right there. No boss room when I see one, and you know the previous boss went very well, but I. No cap, I'm not taking any chances, you know, because first of all, it's the end of the episode. Almost. Oh come on. I'll kill this guy. So 
if you time it right, which I clearly didn't do there. Two. If you time it right, you can get two hits in. Come on, why do you have so much HP? There we go. Nice, we rescued the worm. All right, I am happy with that. I'm happy with that achievement. Uh, I think for now, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. This was a fun one. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I am very scared to go into that room there because I'm getting so many like boss vibes from it. So I think we'll skip out on that until we find a closer bench. For now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Blasphemous. Let me just see what's here. This is going to be the last. Yes! Your winner, as Big Riggs used to say. Um, it's all I, ever wa all I ever wanted. And I've lost my ability to speak, apparently. Thank you guys for watching. As we look out onto the rain-soaked city, I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.